Good evening. Around 7.30 local time here in Israel, IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari and the Home Front Command reported that missiles had been launched from Iran toward Israel. Um, we were told to uh, go to the safe rooms that we have in our homes here in Israel and wait until the missiles uh, are intercepted by the IDF um, aerial defense systems. All uh, In total, um, the current count is that 181 ballistic missiles have been launched from Iran. Um, the videos can be found online of them being launched from the vicinity of uh, Kalmanche and Tabriz in Iran, flying over Jordan where they were cheered by residents of Amman, and then over Palestinian territories where they were cheered by residents of Ramallah. Um, and they were intercepted, almost all of them, by, by the Israeli aerial defense systems. Um, one Palestinian from Gaza who was working in the city of Jericho was killed by debris that fell on him. Um, hits to homes uh, were taken in Tel Aviv and Tel Sheva. Um, the country came to a standstill and uh, people were in their safe rooms and thank God um, there was only that one casualty, N none other. Um, the airport came to a halt, as did the trains. Interestingly, the attack was reported in advance um, in the New York Times that said that Iran would target Israeli airports, uh, air, air bases, uh, air force bases. And I'm here in the town of Rehovot in Israel, um, next to the air force base of Tel Nof. And we heard, we uh, around uh, a bit after 7.30, we went into the safe room and we heard um, the interceptor missiles, intercepting missiles uh, overhead, quite loud uh, booms. But thank God nobody was injured here. Um, unfortunately, at the same time, uh, there was a terror attack in Jaffa. Um, two Palestinians from the city of Hebron um, opened fire from, with automatic rifles at a light train, uh, at a light rail station in Jaffa on Jerusalem Street killed six people. Um, it is quite clear that after this attack from Iran, Israel will not remain uh, without, that the attack will not go without response. Um, it's interesting to see what the response will be. Um, this, many will say that this will give Israel legitimacy to finally attack Iranian uh, nuclear facilities. It remains to be seen whether Israel has the capability to successfully carry out such an attack. That is one possibility. The ground invasion of Lebanon begun yesterday, and uh, Israel will surely uh, pursue Hezbollah assets across Lebanon. Hezbollah is Iran's strongest proxy, the most well-funded and uh, well-armed terrorist organization in the world. And uh, in the coming days, we will see what the response will be. Israel has already drafted uh, reserve forces of, of four brigades uh, along the northern border, and uh, we will soon see how Israel will respond to the missile attack tonight from Iran. Yishai Rosen, this is Yishai Rosenman, Rehovot, Israel.